I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, people? How you doing? It is a great day, and I have got great news for you. DuPont Network has got their FCC license, which means that Late Night with Yaga Diamond is officially a TV show in the Atlanta and surrounding areas, reaching 4.1 million homes. I'm at you right now. Don't you go nowhere. We'll be right back. I do to be different. I do to be different. I do to be different. I do. Welcome back to the show. Okay, so that is great news, right? Yes, and we're coming to you soon. I'm so, so very excited for my next guest. Not only did she go to school and get her her degree and and all of the stuff that she's done in the performing arts or whatever she's, I mean, the lady has got books out. I mean, she is, Miss DeWitt is kicking it live, okay? And she just told me when she goes full gray, she gonna be in diva mode. (laughs) Miss Becky DeWitt, welcome to the show. Thank you, Yaya. It's great to be here. You know what? Now that you said that, I'm thinking I might need to book. That is a book title, Diva Mode. I can do it, you know. Oh. I can do it. You might be like full Diva Mode. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'll let you know. See, I did it. I did it again, guys. I, I guess... You know what? My brain just keeps going because I love, love, love when people succeed. So, Ms. DeWitt, tell us about yourself. I, I'm retired. Um, I'm an author. You know, I've been doing this for like, I didn't realize it, um, 24 years. I published my first book in 1999. Um, I started out as a Christian author, and I'm still a Christian author, but the genre of inspirational. And then I went children's books, and then I went into the novels and, you know, just just continually expanding and, you know, giving God all the glory for that because I don't know what I'm doing. And I even make videos now, <laughs> okay? I made a mini movie after I went to school. I'm like, oh my God. And you know, the funny thing is, as I went to school, I had to write the script, went from script to movie. And I, I think I was like, is this backwards? I went from script to movie and now I'm writing a book based on a little movie I made. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, when did you know that you knew that you were going to be a writer? When did you know that? Before the movies, before the school, when did you know that you were going to be a writer? Actually, I never knew. Mm. I was in church one night. I never knew. Um, You know what happens, you know, when we're growing up, we're doing things. I was always good at writing papers and, you know, doing things like that in in college. And one night, um, my pastor, she called me and she said, called me up. She said, Becky, God says you're going to write books. And I looked at her and I'm like, okay, yeah, right. And uh, it, it, it just came out like that. She's, the prophecy came, she said, Becky, you're going to write books. And then, you know, as time went on, she called me out again. She said, Becky, you're going to write books for hurting people. Becky, you're going to write children's books. And I'm like, okay. And so now I'm in my 24th year. And mm. somebody just told me the other day, you have like over 30 some books on Amazon. I got some in different languages. I go, you know, Spanish and French. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just going to keep Keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. I got to keep it moving. Wow. What has it taken? I mean, did you give up your day job? Did you did you go full force? I mean, how did this happen for you? Never gave up the day job till last year. You know, Mm. (laughs) we're writing. We haven't hit the big time as of yet. You're not you're not on the New York Times bestseller list as of yet. But I kept the day job. I'm just still writing. It's like a force. It's just the creativity. It's, it's just in me. I have to do it. Um, and there's always an idea that's coming forth. Um, and so I just retired you know, last year in 2022. Oh, wow. And so since retire, and even was going to school before I retired. Mm-hmm. And so since all of that was occurring, the creativity now is even the more active in me, you know. Mm. You know, a lot of people say that after I retire, I'm going on a cruise. I'm going to go ahead and relax. You know, what did you say after you retired? After I retired, I said, I'm going to work this thing full force. This is a gift. 
And I mean, I've been working it. And then too, um, you know, I have a company, Blood Drop Inheritance Group. And so people seek me out to help them publish and tell them and show them what I've learned. Um, I make my own videos. I remember when I used to pay somebody to make a book trailer. So I've transitioned into making book trailers and doing all of that. I don't accept a whole lot of clientele simply because of the fact I'm about to continue doing my thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree with you. I totally mm -hmm. agree with you. You know, mm -hmm. doing your thing, how, I mean, okay, so tell us about your thing. You know, is it, how do you do your thing? How do you compose your books? And then you said that you just did a mini movie. I mean, come on, come on, come on. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. You know what? Okay, so the mini movie, I'm gonna start with the mini movie because I just did that. It was like 13 to 15 minutes and it's called Coding My Future. And there's a little boy that I met, he wanted to get into coding. And he was going online. He didn't know how to get into coding. He wanted to get in coding. He was too young. And so the light bulb went off. I said, mm. okay. So I wrote a script and I used that same child and his mother, got the venues and everything, just used them and just created a little 13 to 15 minute movie for school. From that, light bulb still blurring blightly here now. And then I started writing a book. So that's the project that I'm on now. But my most talked about project is the Contempt series that I wrote um, maybe three to five years ago. And that thing is still a hot topic, that mm. Contempt series, because um, when I wrote it, the people didn't believe, the people that know me, they couldn't believe I wrote it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. It's, I mean, you know, you, you know how that goes. It was I like, I can't, you know, you all, the thing is, I always have written inspirational. And so now I come with something that's really salacious. I mean, when I say salacious, I mean, really, I mean, we got gold digger all up in it. And, you know, when people ask me about it, I say, listen, I've got murder in the book. I got kidnapping in the book. I got suicide in the books. I even got plastic surgery. <laughs> hidden identities. I said, but at some point, I did put a pastor in the book, so we do have an element of redemption, okay? <laughs> right. right. I mean, yeah, life. So. Life. Mm -hmm. yeah, life. Life. And the thing about it is, it's a lot, the story, it, it deals with a person who made some bad choices, um, and, you know, then she makes some right choices, and then her past catches up with her, and it's just, you know, it's, it's salacious. It's, right. a, it's a it's drama. Right. I know. You know, and, and some people don't realize that, you know, we are still going through life, even though we're believers, yes. we're not believers, we're still yes. going through life. We still have people that die around us. We still have tragedy that happens around us. We still make mistakes. We still have to correct our lives. Yes. I mean, there's so many different things. So to write about inspiration is great, but why not write about life? So you said that this series is your most talked about series. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me about the, the, the time leading up to you writing this and how did you write it? Actually, um, I was, you know, I was at work. And you know, in my spare time. Okay, okay. <laughs> and you know, sometimes uh, you know, work got boring. So I was just writing. I was just I came up with the idea and I was just writing every day. My main character, Ariana, you know, it, it started out with her taking flight, running away from a situation. And, you know, she was in, involved with, um, you know, drugs, car cartel mode stuff. And the real thing about this is I've got a mix of culture. Mm -hmm. I've got Asian and Black mixture in mm -hmm. here. Mixed well, okay. culture. That's it's, typical. It is yeah. typical. I'm sorry. You yeah. know, a lot of people don't realize that you have, especially in the New York neighborhoods, you have Asians and Blacks and Puerto Ricans mm -hmm. living right in the same area. Mm -hmm. right in the same area because that that's what that was when I lived and you know so that's that's kind of that's kind of typical but people don't look at it like that they don't look mm -hmm. at it like you know mixed culture is normal yeah um, and so that's that's just life I love mm -hmm. that I love what you've done I love that this is patterned off and I understand that this is a drama I understand that there may be situations that don't really occur you know all the time in in real life but in mm -hmm. some people's lives it just may occur yes most definitely 
you know, especially, um, and the funniest thing is that people couldn't believe, um, there's one point, I, I can't remember if it's in the second or third book, but is at one point that I had, you know, this lady, I had her do, you know, the plastic surgery and she's sitting right next to the person that she wants to kill and wants mm. to poison. It's like, what are you doing with plastic surgery in the book? I'm like, it would change their appearance. You yeah. know, when they want to be devious, they want to get to you. It was like she I had to get, she wanted to kill her so bad. Mm. She wanted to destroy the family so bad that she went and had plastic surgery. Who does that? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know what? In those really cool movies and books, they do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. did that. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So you have Contempt, Lies, Deceit, and the Miracles. Reasons. Yes. Did sabotage the final chapter. I mean, you know, okay, so let me ask you a question. How do you prepare yourself to write these books? Well, basically, this is the thing with me. I just get in praying and I just like, okay, what are we going to do today? What are we writing today, God? But what we're going today, you know? In, in fact, when we finish, I got to go back to work into the little office <laughs> and write some more. It's just, and the thing about it is, I don't have an outline. I just, you know, I get my character names as we go along. I make notes and he teaches me how to weave everything because the contempt series is a big woven thing. And I've had people to ask me for a fourth book. I'm like, I, you know what? My mind can't go there right now. I need to stay Because <laughs> well, you did the final chapter. I mean, it, but it, it, it be the final, final chapter. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? But people, you know, they still talk about it. It's still a hot topic. And they say, I know there's more because you left each book with, you know, the desire, the open ending. Because with the first book, you know, I had a situation at the end. They could not, they was trying to figure out who was that girl? Mm. Who was that? Who was that? It just had a figure in there. And you know what I did was I had some, what I call contempt chats. Mm. And, you know, just talking with people, just getting their feedback and getting their feedback is what led to the second book mm. feedback wow. because they were hungry for more. I mean, you got to finish this story. And, you yeah. know, and, and that gold digger thing, I can't believe she did that. Mm. Oh, she, ooh, she was with, watch this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. She was with both those brothers. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Why? And how she didn't know. Mm. Gold digger. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why. Yeah, yeah. Look, up here. look I, I can't <laughs> go back to that right now. I have a, another situation, another title that I've been working on, but I, mm. I got pulled off of that. And so now I am strictly in my children's books for a while. And then I, I'm, I think I'm going to come off. I don't know what I'm going to come off of there. I got to, you know, because my mind has to go a place. I hear you. <laughs> Yeah, you got to kind of take a break from certain things and then come mm-hmm. back to it mm-hmm. and see, mm-hmm. see if it's fresh. But Ms. DeWitt, man, I am telling you, I'm so proud of you. Not only did you go back to, you know, to school when you got your film degree, right? Yes. Oh, my goodness, girl. So you can literally do film. So I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, <laughs> is this book going to be a movie? I am praying that it either will be a movie or a television series. Hello. Because you know what? I've already written the script. I got your thing, girl. You're just ahead. I'm telling you what. Well, you know, as part of the, uh, as part of you know, going to school and different elements in the classes, I had to learn how to write a script. Like, mm. and then I had to, you know, join something that was online to show me uh, tutorials and everything. I said, well, since I'm having to do this for school, I might as well write the real thing. Hey, I hear that. You ready? That's right. I mean, you know what? A lot of people should do what you do. So what kind of advice do you give to people? Because, you know, I've talked to all ages. I've interviewed mm-hmm. all ages. And mm-hmm. you know what they say? They say, for right now, you know, this is what I'm doing. But maybe when I'm older, I want to do something different. So life never actually stops until life stops. That's You're right. You're always going to do something. You're always going to want to do something different. You're always going to be a dream chaser. What same is do it? Um, this is what I say. You have potential. Potential is in you. And if you have potential, you have to act. If you had the thought, that means you have the potential. So even though it was told to me that I would write books, I never knew that I would be writing this many books. So and even if you're a first time author, I always say, write the first sentence. Let's finish the paragraph. And the next thing I say is, you know, there's somebody waiting to read what you're going to write. 
There's somebody assigned to read what you write. I, I just write and release. I never, I mean, I've got websites. I've got an author den page that has like 20 years of my writings. Do I know who's reading it? No, just write and release. Just keep writing. Just keep writing because your imagination is the power tool. Definitely. Ms. DeWitt, thank you so much for being on the show. I truly appreciate it. And I appreciate your knowledge, your time, but most of all your inspiration. I am telling you, I am telling you, you are the epitome of life just doesn't stop because you're retired. Girl, get That's on right. the ball. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess what? what? I'm going when I get off, I'm gonna write down the diva mode. I already see the character with the right hair. I just got to weave it. I think, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe she's gonna leave her sisters. I don't know, but I'm gonna write. I feel a book. Yeah, yeah. Diva oh, mode is did the I do diva. that. Did I do that? You did that because <laughs> I see the cover. And you know, I can do my own covers, right? I see it. I see it. Mm -hmm. So now you got to come back, Mr. Witt. See, all that time of waiting and putting that off, it was just the right time. Yes, it's just the right time. Because I would have never got diva mode if I hadn't talked to you today. Mm. Hello. All right. So we got another book coming from Ms. DeWitt. But not only that, Ms. DeWitt, where can people find you? Oh, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. YouTube, I've got a YouTube channel, Blood Dropping Here in this group. You know what I tell people most of the time? Just Google Becky DeWitt. You'll be amazed at what you find. Hello. And we're going to go ahead and put that information in the description box below so that it'll be easy for you to do that. But if you just don't know, just <laughs> Google her, Becky DeWitt. We'll put that name in the title. That way you, oh, you got it, you got it, you know. And we're waiting for Diva Mode to come out soon. I'm just excited about this whole thing, Mr. Wood. I'm so excited that I was able to help you out with at least a couple of words. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we go do it, girl. Thank you. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. And until next time, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time that I upload. And don't forget to dare to be different. Until next time, guys. I dare to be different. 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 I dare to be different